Daisy's Dairy Dreams. Daisy the cow lived on a beautiful dairy farm in the state of Arizona. Every day she and the rest of the cows had a great time playing, resting, and eating. Most importantly, they lined up each day to be milked, sometimes as much as nine gallons per cow a day. In the evening, when the Arizona sun slowly disappeared beneath the sand, Daisy did what all the cows do, settle down for a nice night of sleep. But one night, Daisy had trouble getting to sleep. She laid in her bed and thought about what she might have been if she hadn't been a cow. She loved her life on the dairy, but her mind roamed as she dreamed of what else could be out there. A great horned owl flew down from the night sky and landed next to Daisy. It was Daisy's good friend, Saworo. Daisy, shouldn't you be asleep by now? asked Saworo. Is something troubling you? Hi, Saworo, answered Daisy. Oh, sometimes I just think I'd like to visit lots of different places. You know, see what else is out there besides this dairy farm? Hmm, interesting, said Saworo. What kind of places? Oh, I don't know, Daisy said sleepily as she yawned. As far away as I can travel. How about outer space? Saworo raised one eyebrow. Well, I don't know about that. But Daisy was already drifting off to sleep. She began to dream of flying through space wearing a spacesuit. She whizzed by strange planets and stars. Wow, I'm an astronaut, or astro cow. Well, something astro. It's amazing. But all the space travel was making Daisy hungry. She settled down on the surface of the moon and looked for some grass. Wait a minute, Daisy thought to herself as she looked around. Does the moon even have grass or corn or hay? But as we all know, there is no grass or corn or hay on the moon. Daisy's tummy started to grumble. She reached into her spacesuit pocket and found a tube of astronaut food. She tasted it. She didn't like it at all. In fact, the taste was so bad that it woke Daisy up from her dream. What happened? asked Saworo. Bad dream? There's no hay in space, said Daisy sleepily. I could have told you that, answered Saworo. But there's always food here at the dairy, isn't there? Oh, sure. The farmer makes sure we have the best food a cow could ask for. Every day we eat a wholesome diet of corn and hay and lots of other things that cows need. Saworo suggests that maybe outer space is a little far from the things Daisy loves. Perhaps she should stick closer to home. Yeah, said Daisy, thinking, I know, the Grand Canyon is in Arizona. I could go there. And what would you do there? asked Saworo. Daisy was starting to sink back into sleep. I don't know. I'll give tourists rides down to the bottom of the canyon like a mule. I can do the job as good as any mule. And with that, she was back to sleep. She could hardly wait to start dreaming of working at the Grand Canyon, one of the wonders of the world right here in Arizona.
And dream she did. There she stood at the top of the magnificent canyon. A tourist approached her and asked her to take him down to the bottom of the rocky gorge. Hop on, chirped Daisy, her first customer. Halfway down the steep and treacherous trail, Daisy started to realize that she's not used to having someone ride on her back. And it was hot. Very, very hot. Do you mind if we take a little break and find some shade? Daisy asked the tourist. It's hot out here. Break? The tourist barked back. No break. I want to see the bottom of the canyon. Besides, do you, any, do you see any shade around here? Daisy looked around and realized that no. There was no barn nor shade trees of any kind to sit and take a rest. Gosh, I couldn't do that. Daisy woke up in a sweat. Is it a hot in here? She asked Saguaro. No, he responded. It's a cool night, but even if it were a blazing hot Arizona day, you have this barn here to get shade. Not to mention the fans and misters the farmer put up so you could always stay cool. Daisy thought about the wonderful fans, and they always made her feel refreshed after playing out in the hot sun. Well, I just need to go somewhere cooler then, said Daisy as she put her head down, willing herself back to sleep. Do you guys see the thermometer there? The outside temperature is 105 degrees underneath the shade structure with the fans, it can be 67 degrees for our dairy cows. Oh my, said Saguaro, what will you dream of next? The frozen Arctic, she said as she was already forming images of running with a sled dog team. I'm, I'm a sled dog. Sled dog? Yeah repeated Saguaro, but he was now falling asleep himself. Daisy was at the head of the team as they whisked through the snowy drifts. Snowflakes danced across her face, and she was the fastest cow you've ever seen. But soon, darkness settled over the great Arctic. It got very cold as the big blue moon rose into the air. Daisy noticed how all the sled dogs curled up and settled down for sleep, but she was freezing. I can't fall asleep in a bunch of snow, she said out loud, only then realizing she had woken up back in the barn. I don't blame you, said Saguaro, who was now wide awake. Dreaming of the Arctic? Daisy looked around at her nice warm bed made of straw and sand. Oh, thank God. Goodness, she muttered. She thought about how well the farmers here at the dairy treat all the cows. They even clean out the cows' beds and make sure they're fresh and cozy. It's very late, Daisy. What is it you really want? asked Saguaro. I guess I just want to do something important, to do something to help the world. I know. A scientist. A scientist? Well, you have about enough time for one more dream before the sun comes up and it's time for breakfast. So go back to sleep and get dreaming, said Saguaro. Daisy laid her head down and squeezed her eyes closed. A scientist, she thought again as she drifted back to sleep. And there she was, standing in front of a table full of test tubes, beakers, and electronic gizmos of all sorts. She scanned the table, not knowing the first thing of what to do. And now, she exclaimed in a serious tone, I will create the world's best vitamin. She started mixing this and that without a clue of what she was mixing. Green liquid mixed with purple and started to fizz and bubble. A pinch of some powder from a small bowl and boom! 
boom! A small explosion filled the room with smoke. Daisy wiped her eyes and looked around. Then she said in an irritated voice, I'd like to wake up now. And she did. She sat there in the cool Arizona night air next to Saguaro, looking very disappointed. Daisy, said Saguaro sympathetically, don't you see? You, my dear, are a happy, healthy dairy cow. You make milk for people to drink. It's loaded with all kinds of vitamins and minerals that people need every single day. Daisy looked at him with a slight smile. That's true. Milk has nine essential nutrients, including protein, and that makes people healthy. Daisy, Arizona has some of the largest dairy farms in the country, said Saguaro, and this beautiful state has over 200,000 dairy cows, and you are part of all of that. Daisy stood up and watched the sun rise from behind the distant mountains. She realized how happy she was on that dairy farm. The only way a cow can produce up to nine gallons of milk a day is to be a happy cow. And she thought about how hard the farmers worked to make sure all the cows were healthy, plenty had, were happy, plenty of healthy food, cooling misters, shade from the hot sun, and a nice clean bed that's soft and dry. And she thought about her important job of producing milk. You know what, Saguaro? I have a great life here at the dairy. I thought you might say that, Daisy. And Daisy ran off to join her friends for breakfast. <laughs>